Next, I talked with a major player in the recent successes, and that's the city's downtown development authority executive director, Rafael Clemente. And in an interview taped earlier, I asked Rafael what the authority was all about. The Downtown Development Authority is a special taxing district, David. We work to improve the downtown area in a multitude of ways, um, but generally speaking, it's improving the physical environment, supporting the business uh, community there, uh, working with the residents to improve quality of life, and marketing the area as a destination. I got you. We know uh, down in West Palm we had uh, a lot of problems with glut of condo units and that was really hurt us uh, several years back during the recession and so forth. How are things doing now? Uh, that I can assure you is no longer a problem. Uh, I think the vacancy rate right now in downtown for residential property is below 5%. So there's very few available units left. And um, the, the market has responded to that. We're seeing new uh, residential projects coming out of the ground, which is you know terrific for, for the economy, for the yeah. tax base, but also to, to put more people in the district, obviously supports the business community and, and just keeps things moving forward. Right, you know, because these people in the, you know, the condos in downtown West Palm Beach, they're out there, uh, you know, shopping, going to restaurants and so forth and so on. Of course. So, so that really helps a lot. Yeah, you have a built-in customer base. Right now yeah. we have somewhere in the neighborhood of, somewhere in the, you know, no pun intended, uh, about 8,000 residents in our downtown area. So that's, you know, obviously you can imagine yeah. a big economic driver. Absolutely. Well, listen, the Downtown Development Authority in West Palm, how is it funded? Uh, we're funded through uh, a, a split revenue stream. Uh, a portion of our funding comes from a tax we levy, an ad valorem tax, on just the downtown area. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of our funding comes through a partnership with the Community Redevelopment Agency of the City of West Palm Beach. Every penny of that we reinvest into the district in the ways I described earlier, right. but obviously with the goal of supporting and improving the area and making it as great as it can be. Palm Beach real estate investor Jeff Green, he's a big, he's a big plus for downtown. He's coming up with a, a bundle of money buying properties in downtown West Palm. He, he has uh, that's very, a lot of confidence. Yeah, you know? he has tremendous confidence in the downtown area. Um, he's you know, said some very glowing things about the downtown and why he's invested there, um, has become very rapidly a big player in the area. We're yeah. eager to see uh, some of those things that he's doing come to fruition there. Are you getting uh, inquiries on business opportunities now where before, f three or four years ago, you weren't? Yes, we are. You know, obviously with the economy, uh, you know, back in, in that time yeah. period, um, everything was dragging. Right. But uh, now daily or, or, you know, a few times a day, we are we are being contacted by uh, people looking for business opportunities in the downtown. We connect them with resources like, you know, available spaces. We're, we're not a broker or anything. Right. We don't get any revenue out of it, but we our goal is to find those yeah. businesses the opportunities to get into the district. You expedite things. We do. It's a great way to put it. We are yeah, well, like yeah. a one-stop shop for that. Yeah, well, that's terrific, Raphael. You know, when, uh, and it's great for the community. Yeah. Well, listen, all right, the Downtown Development uh, Authority in West Palm Beach, you're the executive director. Who runs things? Well, we have a board of directors. Uh, we have a seven-member board. Our chairman, Howard Pincus, uh, happens to be a resident in the downtown. To be on our board, you have to either own property or be a business owner in the downtown. Yeah. So that tax that, right. that funds our organization impacts you directly as a, as a board member. Uh, our board is appointed by the mayor of West Palm Beach and then approved by the commission. I got you. They serve a three-year term. Um, you know, they're really, they're directly connected to the community that, that we serve. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a very, um, it's a hyper-local sort of uh, attachment to the people we serve. Okay, well listen, I'm going to wrap up the interview here. Uh, what do you think is the future and the economic situation in downtown West Palm? Well, I'll just say uh, the future is bright, uh, and I can tell you um, from the perspective of the DDA, we are looking to continue to differentiate West Palm Beach as a destination place uh, for the arts, for business, for entertainment, for and, and for investors. Yeah. As well. And we got SunFest coming up. SunFest <laughs> coming in May. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's terrific. All right, listen, uh, Raphael Clemente, God bless you. Thanks a lot for being here. Good luck. It's a pleasure to be on the show again. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. And stay with us. We'll return.